instead 53, 54, and 55, I'll be assembling the wheels and tires and mounting them onto the front axles and front and rear axles. So for that, I will need open bag G or bag G, which I have, <clears throat> which I have right here. Five wheels, 2.2. Looks like are my screws and my hubs, wheel hubs, and then also be needing um, five BF, BF Goodrich tires. Uh, so I'll go ahead and proceed with the build. managed to uh, get through that watching all four uh, wheels and tires get mounted um, you folks came to the bonus round yes a bonus round uh, a rock is gonna 
show you folks how to mount these wheels and tires the easy way and not the com very complicated way where you have to unscrew and screw and unscrew and screw and try to figure it all out. So basically here we have is a tire 2.2 uh, BF Goodrich uh, Baja TAs um, KR2s and here we have is the wheel. Um, the wheel comes like this in the bag. You want to make sure um, you know which one is on the right side facing. So this is the front or out, the outside wheel, part of the wheel. That's the inner wheel where you um, mount it onto the axle and onto the hub. So basically, when you take, you have to take it. So it's a three piece. So top, middle, and then um, rear or bottom, whatever you might call it, front, rear, top, bottom. But um, there's this. Uh, little block right here and then you have this um, holes I guess if you want to call it and then you have to line it up voila and then you just line up your screw mounts like so and you can screw the wheels together shoe fly shoe so you want to keep in mind which side is which because if you put you can't put this on this side and this side and this side it's not gonna um, mount on so uh, when you take it out of the bag, you just want to make sure uh, which side goes where. So, like this is top, um, bottom, or front and rear. So, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep that orientation. Remember that orientation because when you install it in the tire, we're gonna make sure this is the top. Remember that's the top. So, um, the key to uh, installing um, B locks, in this case plastic B locks, um, is to have the lip of the tire which is this part right here um, sit on the rim of the wheel and then you want, you want to make sure no um, foam is um, between the lip of the wheel and the tire um, so pretty good right now same as goes on the other side see that just want to make sure no foam is in between this lip and this lip so now, <clears throat> my suggestion is to put the um, bottom um, rim first, and I would just put it right in the middle for a um, to give it more uh, brace when the wheels are spinning. Doesn't really matter. So there you go. Have that mounted on, then you line up your. Uh, screw mounts so that would be basically be flush make sure nothing is everything is all good here nothing sticking out or bend you know so now we can go ahead and screw on the screws As you can see, uh, we got a pretty good uh, tire mount. Nothing is uh, creased or no, there's no hump around the lips. So now we can install the hub, the wheel hub. So real simple, just line up the holes, get your screw, stick it right in, get your power drill. Then you just have to go a little gentle.
there you have it folks. Uh, one tire assembly all completed. Pretty cool. Now let's go mount these bad boys onto the hubs. The hubs. The axles. from uh, plastic part three AX three one three one nine part number one um, this was already out of the plastic or out of the plastic part three basically goes right here And then we'll be needing uh, four M3 by 18 millimeter hex socket button heads, which I have right here. So let's go ahead and mount this uh, front bumper. <laughs> Thank you. 